I'm Ron Polk down here working on the smart wood shop, I'm making a lot of progress. I'm finally to the point of wiring it up. It's a pretty simple job. I need to put in my lights and then uh, put in the outlets and the uh, pigtail to supply the, uh, the power. So I'm just going to have uh, the where I start everything, where it'll be a pigtail going into a, a, a two gang box with two outlets. From there, I'll feed out uh, with MC cable over to another four gang in the or two gang in the um, uh, battery charging compartment, and there'll be uh, two outlets kind of in the back, which I'll plug a strip into, and then I'll jump from there with a short piece of MC cable. Uh, in the same cabinet and have another two gang, one with a switch for the lights and another one with another outlet and that outlet will have uh, the USB plug-ins for doing a phone and charging other kinds of batteries and things. And like I do everything, I, I like to start at the end and work my ba way back to the beginning so I get everything right. So I'm putting in all the lights first. I'm doing uh, a bank of 12 feet of tube lights and then uh, straight down the middle of the aisle and then I'm going to have one running um, perpendicular to that um, that will be um, uh, a four footer and that's going to light kind of that little back hallway that I have that will kind of go around the corner to where I'm going to be storing uh, back stock of materials. So what I've done is I've got three, let's say I'm sorry, two four foot lights and then one eight foot. Now the eight foot is simply just a single uh, fixture, but it still uses the four foot tube. So I'm going to have eight tubes that are identical. Now I wanted to do LED and I found this to be a little more complicated than uh, it, I thought it should be. The um, one of the options I looked at and, and I might have maybe I should have gone with it, where the uh, ribbon LEDs, where you buy them by the foot and then you just buy the transformer setup and they, they peel and stick and then they have different mounting systems. I wasn't quite sure if it was enough light, so I wanted to stick with tube lights. I decided ultimately, I might change my mind on that in the future, but I wanted LEDs. Well, everything I found was integrated LEDs. That's where you buy these fixtures and the lights are in part of the fixture. So if it ever fails, you got to change the whole fixture out. And I didn't want that. So the other option is to put up fluorescent fixtures with the ballast and then you can buy tubes that will go in and work with the existing ballast. Well, I, I don't want the ballast. I've had them in the past. I haven't had a lot of trouble with them, but if you get into GFIs and sometimes double GFIs, because OSHA requires that I would wire the trailer with a, an integral GFI and sometimes I'm on the job and I have to plug into a GFI and so I get it and you get some complications with that. It works but you know you can have some issues and so I ended up with grounding issues in my past. I got them to work but I decided if I'm getting rid of the ballast I'm just going to take them out to begin with. So that's what I'm doing here. I've, I've already done the uh, the other two four footers, they're ready to go. So I'm going to prep this one now. It's a pretty simple process. Now, I'm not an electrician. Uh, this is what I know how to do. And I'm not giving you direction. I'm just showing you what I'm going to do and you're going to get to see it work ultimately. Word of warning, if you ever work with these, and I've done lots of these over the years, they, they're as sharp as a razor knife. I've already cut myself once on the other one, and I, I pretty much cut myself with these 100% of the time. I ran into trouble, I, already, I had another eight footer which I prepped, and when I put it up with the fours, uh, the tombstones, these mounting ends, were half an inch different in height, so my tube lights would have been off, and, I didn't want that. It probably would have been fine, but I didn't want that look. I'm going to leave a little bit of wire on these uh, uh, ballasts so that these starters so that um, they can be used uh, in the future on a light that may fail with a ballast if I want to keep it going.
So perfectly good ballast can be reused to rebuild another light. So basically it just comes down to black and white. So I am going to decide, and it's, it's, there's no polarity here, so it's one side or the other. So I am going to take the, uh, the blues and the reds, I'm gonna put these all together, and I'm gonna make this the black side, and then the yellows on either end are gonna be the white side. The other modification I'm gonna make is I know where I'm mounting this in the trailer and where I wanna bring in the wire that's gonna power all of the lights. And it's uh, 22 inches in from the end and that'll give me a straight shot in uh, where I'll be running the MC uh, cable um, directly along one of the trailer rafters and I'll be able to use the MC clamps and put it right along there. And I just want to come in as pretty much straight in to the side and there's no knockout uh, anywhere. There's a knockout here on the end, but I would have to, you know, then run the cable over and it'd be not quite as neat and clean. So I'm gonna drill a hole um, right here where I will then use one of the clamps and clamp through here and run the MC cable through. This is the uh, MC cable that I'm using. So it's, uh, it's, you know, it's basically a, a metal flex, but it's already pre-wired, so I don't have to fish this stuff in. So I just have to cut it to the uh, appropriate lengths. And then these are the clamps that go through. There's a little, you'll see when I put it together, there's a little red sleeve that goes in there and then it fits in through these. And so this will be my mounting, or where I enter in to bring the power into the light. It's easier to do as much on the bench as I can uh, so that I'm not working overhead as much. Plus there's not a lot of light in there yet other than with my shop lights. I'll also be introducing ground into the system inside of the light. So when I bring in the MC cable, I'll take the ground and then uh, on one of my mounting screws, there's a grounding screw in these, but rather than use that, I'll, one of my mounting screws that goes up into the aluminum rafters, I will wrap the ground under there. And that'll introduce ground to the entire system. So now what I'm gonna go do is mount this in the trailer and it's ready to uh, be wired at that point. And I'll use these nipples to tie the um, lights together so the um, wires will go through these to so they'll all be linked to one switch. <laughs> 